lovelies, it's Monday and that means it's time for a mental health check-in. This is going to be a new series that we drop every Monday that really just checks in with you mentally and the different variety, oh my gosh, there are so many different ways that mental health can exist in ways that we can battle mental health, understand mental health, and everything possibly under the mental health umbrella. <laughs> January is wrapping up and with that usually comes the New Year Resolution Blues. These are things that leave us feeling anxious or depressed because the goals that we set out to achieve at the start of the year might have taken a few detours, might have hit some bumps, or really just don't exist entirely. Now, please note that anything that I ever discuss is always going to come from personal experiences, from things that are working for me or that haven't worked for me, but mental health is not a one-fits-all situation. So what I say here today might not resonate, and that's okay. I am one to always feel anxious and depressed because I have an unrealistic goal of perfection, and when I am not achieving that ideal perfection, in my ways of accomplishing goals, I feel helpless, unmotivated, like I'm screaming to the abyss of why does this even matter? But really it comes down to what I like to call the constant battle of my id versus super ego. So today I'm going to share with you four of the top tricks that help me kind of find the peace between that battle. But first, we need to talk about the three components that make up Fred, Fred's, Fred, who's Fred? Freud's theory. Also, I just want to say I'm looking very Sigmund Freud today with my uh, black sweater dress. <laughs> so let's jump into it because, oh my god, I think I've completely derailed this conversation. <laughs> the first thing we need to realize is what is it? It is more on your animalistic side that really just thrives in the unconscious to get your basic needs. Your hunger, your thirst, this is something that we're all born with for the extent of survival. It also is where most of our immediate instant gratification needs stem from. Our super ego is more of the internalized moral standards and ideals that we take from our parents and society. Those kind of high standards and for me and a lot of other people is where that need for perfection stems from. And lastly we have our ego. The ego is based in the reality principle. What is achievable? What is doable? What is within the grasp of actually accomplishing this? and tends to be the moderator between your id and super ego. The first tip is really just coming to terms that we all in different variety of ways have some sort of unrealistic, unattainable ideals. For example, mine is this fact that you have to work nine to five in the business world. This comes from my father who is a very hardcore go work for a company, you need the health insurance type guy. And that, sadly, that doesn't work for me. And it doesn't work for a lot of people, especially people who might deal with disabilities, who have families, whatever the circumstance might be, it just might be unattainable for them. And it doesn't mean that that has to be a nine to five for everyone. Maybe for other people, the nine to five really, really works. And just having a family is unrealistic to them or unattainable, even though society is really pushing for us all to like, bunker down and have kids because that's how society works. <laughs> One of the ways that I really like to kind of figure out what are ideals that I personally want and what are ideals that maybe are kind of brainwashed is by doing journaling prompts to really get to know who I am as a person and doing a lot of shadow work. Shadow work is really using the journal, using time to meditate to really connect with yourself and maybe more of those sides that you tend to repress because we might be scared to know who we are or what we want or to even just go against our parents. I am a firm believer that you cannot understand what you want in this life, what you need if we do not know who we are. The second tip is really just accepting our flaws and finding ways to work around those flaws, working around those things that might we might want to work on, we might want to do, but you know what? Maybe it's not worth the energy. Maybe we feel like we need to achieve that goal because society says we do, but deep down, we just don't care if that's a flaw of ours or not, and that's okay. The way that I really like to handle this is by asking myself two questions when an issue arises. Do I want to change this? And do I need to change this? And if the answer is no, that's okay. You know, sometimes I feel like I have to make a planner and I have to 
time code everything. I'm going to spend 60 minutes on this. I'm going to get this done by 2 p.m. And when 2 p.m. rolls around and it's not done, I just throw it all out. Can't do it. I failed. Never going to be accomplished. You suck at life. And you know what? I don't have to get it done by 2 p.m. It's not that important. I mean, maybe if there's a deadline, like I said, everyone's different. But you got to be able to accept those flaws. Knowing that I'm just really bad at time management is not something that I'm really looking to fix. And if it is something I'm wanting to fix, maybe I don't feel like I have to go all the way to the opposite side to fix it and be super on time, detailed to the minute. Maybe it's just, hey, instead of doing 2 p.m., maybe let's just get it done today. Trick three is finding different ways to find that instant gratification. We all like to be praised. We all like to know that we're accomplishing things or we're being productive or we're doing good in the world, whatever feeds your soul. And having or wanting instant gratification isn't bad like society tries to make us. We just have to find ways that work for us. One of my favorite ways of doing that and a lot of things that the self-help industry pushes is the gratitude list. I sometimes feel like the gratitude list isn't the proper name because like you're giving more of thanks and you're more thankful for something happening. I like to call it the attaboy list. At the end of your day, give yourself an attaboy. It doesn't matter if anyone knows about it. It doesn't matter if anyone even hears you say it. It matters to you and trust me, it's gonna make you feel good. It's gonna feed that instant gratification. And maybe you don't need the attaboy list. Another great way of doing it is just the gratification of crossing something off the list. It's different for everyone, but until you realize what works for you, just try it all. And lastly, probably the biggest one, remind yourself over and over and over again, no one's perfect. We live in the media world where if you're on Instagram or TikTok and you're following these people and they have everything, they're always cooking five course meals, they're perfect with their family, they get everything done, they're a thriving business owner. Just remember, nobody's perfect and you don't have to be perfect to be happy. I personally love to live in the imperfect world. To me, the whole goal of life isn't to be perfect, isn't to have things come easily, isn't to have everything you want. It's to constantly change and evolve, to constantly look at what's next in the world. And if we're perfect, then that's gonna make life a lot of boring. That's gonna make life really boring. Well, that's all I have for this video. But just remember, these tips are good for everything. They're not just here to silence or help find the peace between the battle. They can be used when you're goal setting, when you're coming across a decision that you might have a hard time finding, when you're just trying to figure out what should I journal about or what should I focus on or work on. And you don't have to use all of them. You don't even have to use any of them. There's other tips and tools out there. But the best thing to know is that you're never alone in this situation and you're freaking amazing. And don't let anyone ever make you think otherwise. Until next week, you guys, have a great day. Bye.